Hello everyone, welcome. It's Monday 15th of March 2021 and I'm Diane and this is my channel where I share my hobby cross stitch. Now obviously my last video was not about cross stitch and perhaps I should have warned you that I, w I was thinking of doing that but I wasn't really sure I was going to do it until I did it. For future reference if it says floss tube in the uh, title then it'll be about cross stitch and if I put up any videos that don't have that with a floss tube title then they'll be about something else. Now let's get started cross stitch. First thing I have to show is this cutie. There you are, hold it up there. This is a gift from my friend Aveline. Um, I think it's absolutely adorable and if I turn it you can see there's a little green stitched edge all the way around. It's absolutely beautifully made. And she's made a hanger and the back is also embroidered there. And this is just to thank me for something that, that I did. And I think that's absolutely gorgeous. He's so cute. And he hangs on my wall behind me most of the time. Not now. And the other gift I got, stitch gift, it's rattling. Who doesn't like rattling plastic? I mean, doesn't that just mean gifts and lovely things? I got these from um, Carol. 30 quilting bobbins. 13 threads for quilting. I'm going to have fun with these. And Carol, if you're watching, this is the one that I call fluorescent. Aren't they gorgeous? So I will have fun with that. The other thing I need to do is last time I said we were going to have a, a giveaway. The I Still Do chart from Ink Circles. So I put the names into the tablet. If I can switch it on and find it. Where is it? There we are. I hope you can see. I made a random wheel. So we'll just touch that. It's not working. There we are, it's working. Let's see who's going to win. And it is. Can't read it that way around. Crystal Verbist. I will leave a message next to your message. Please get in touch with me either through Instagram or email with your address. And then I will post this on to you. Now, stitching, because that's what everybody came for, isn't it? Oh, this one. I finally got it out. And it's literally been months since I stitched on this. I couldn't even find a photograph for where I left off last time. This is the one that I'm, I'm stitching. I'm not too about there. And I think I might leave these uh, leaves off. There we are. And then I'm going to turn it into a cushion color cover for my mum. So, can you see it? Yeah. I picked it up uh, a week ago and what I got done is this bit. No. How much? Oh. I can't see it backwards. This bit. There. So, and I'm enjoying it more than I remembered, which is good. My mum's birthday is in August and she's going to be 90. So I really, really want to get that one done this time. I did a bit more on my temperature tree. Oh, look at those pretty colours. This second branch is February and there's quite a range of colours in that. Our lowest high temperature in February was minus four. Uh, centigrade Celsius and our highest high temperature was 19. Obviously I've got to get March, the branch for March done and then the pr presumably last weekend of March I'll stitch the leaves. I'm enjoying that. Oh I don't know, can you see the fabric? It, it's not showing up of course. No, there is some printing on it, grey printing sort of motley clouds and this is a Swigart linen I think. The other thing I was stitching on, got a bit more done, is this one. 
Sleeping Princess by Mirabilia. That's for my mum. No, it isn't. It's for my daughter. And I'm going to clip this just to make it easier. It's for my daughter's bedroom. Ah, uh, what did I do? I filled in some more green here and I've got all these other colours done here. Yeah, that's the part, bit um, here. Not very good today, am I? I'll try. So, so these colours, these colours here, and that little bit there. There's a lot to do. And yeah, I started something new. I saw online, second-hand site, a little um, sampler. And I thought, oh, that's really cute. Maybe I'll try it. Uh, I've never done a sampler before, and I'm not sure if I would like, to, if I really would like to do it or not. Anyway, she sold out, and I thought, huh, I'll, I'll hunt around, see if I can find it, found it, bought it quickly, and it was only when it came, look at that, it even says the name there, get the needle out of the way, oh, this side, Jeanette Douglas Designs, and there's no way that this is from Jeanette Douglas, someone has pilfered it, and I don't believe they're playing paying copyright fees to have. Yeah, I was uh, tricked. I should have paid more attention. Anyway, it came with white Ada. Which way round? It doesn't matter, does it? It came with white Ada, which I dyed with some brown and some grey and a little bit of violet. And I've got this central rose done. Yeah, the colours are a little sort of dirtyish or aged, so I didn't think bright white Ada was the, th the way to go with it. I'm quite pleased with the way that's come out. It really is scruffy looking. <laughs> and those, those are the colours. You can see they're quite, well, there's some light ones there. I'm not sure what that purple's doing in there. We'll see if it looks good or not. So I'm trying out a sampler, see if I like that. I had another purchase, also sec this was second hand. Saw this, I just had to have it. Aren't they cute? Cute little birdies. Could you resist those? I had to have that. And this brings me to the unboxing. New kit out from All Graphics. That's a, a Dutch designer, uh, producer, distributor. They're situated in Permarand in the Netherlands. And obviously, if you've noticed my channel name, you, you'll realise I like frogs. Saw this one and I bought it the very same day. Had to have it. And it was really lovely because I sent... You, you were allowed to put a, a remark when you bought it. So I put in a remark, thank you for designing a frog, I love it. And she, she wrote back on the invoice. Said, you know, she wished me a lot of fun with it. And uh, I think she's thinking of designing another couple. We'll see. Anyway, unboxing of your graphics kit. This is how it comes. It comes in a Ziploc bag. The medium-sized ones do, and so do the small ones. And then, I'm not sure if you get Ziploc bags by the larger ones, though. The insides will be the same, though. If I can get it out. Fits very snugly in the bag. Now, to start with, you get a cover picture, and as you can see, that's shiny because it's laminated. And I really like that because I can stand my coffee cup on it and wipe it off afterwards. Um, instructions in English, Dutch, German, French, and Spanish. A guarantee. And this is really lovely of them because I don't know anybody else who does this. If you 
uh, check it and find you've got a, 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 a strand of floss missing, they'll send you more. But also if you make a mistake with the floss and you need more to complete it, they will provide you with extra floss, even if it's your own mistake, up to 15% of the, the total amount of floss in the kit. And I think that's absolutely wonderful. Um, yeah. If you buy more than one of these kits, it might be useful to write the name of the kit on the guarantee because each guarantee, as you can see, has its own number and it's individual. Um, some more instructions. Ah! This was my invoice with a lovely message. I'm so happy you love our little poison dart frog. Thank you so much for your order. Much cross stitch fun and please stay safe. Saskia. And Saskia is actually the designer. Got here more. Oh, bright warning, I think. Oh. A list of symbols and fabric, sorry, floss, floss names and how many um, strands you get of each color. This is the chart, A4 size. And if I peel back the corner, I don't think you'd mind if I show you just a corner, you can't do anything with that. If I hold it there, you can see it's very easy to read. Charts are black and white. There's no PDFs and no colour charts. The uh, They have their own floss cards. These are nice and large, not fiddly little things. Again, if you're doing more than one kit at a time, it might be wise to write the name on it just in case you pick up the one, the wrong floss card when you're stitching. This came already knotted, as you can see. All I have to do is write the symbols on. And I've done these before. The symbols are actually, where is it? This, this symbols list. This symbols list is actually the same order as they've put them on the card, so it's very easy to do. And then we have the Ada. Their kits are really very, very reasonably priced. And always the designs are well thought out with no or minimal back stitching, only full crosses. Um, and they're designed so that there's not lots, lots and lots of confetti. She makes the pattern work without confetti. You get 14 count Ada from Zweigart. The floss is DMC, so it's all good quality. You can't see this very well. It is actually a lovely pale green. It really is quite pretty. And that's another thing that's unusual with their kits. They'll give you, include, coloured Ada. And then your needle in a little bag. And I've got another one here that I had. This one that I bought at a craft fair. And I still haven't got round to it. Let's just take a look. This one is Witching Hour. Again, it's in the Ziploc bag. laminated. Oh, I forgot to say, on the front, the uh, front page, you get your dimensions in the stitch dimensions in centimetres and in inches, you get the name, and then you get the contents in five languages. Let's see. Oh, yes, I'm looking at it wrong. And you get the stitch count. Yeah, 100 by 92. As you go, only 100 by 92, and you get this much detail. So, again, instructions, more instructions. Floss key card.
And then this one is a little bit larger. Although it's like, the pattern area is from there to there. So it's a square. And this is the magical thing, I think, really well thought out. If you look at that, you'd think, oh yeah, it's stitched on Black Ada. And I know I spoke to her, um, either the designer or one of the other owners, partners, a couple of years at the fair where I bought this. And she said, nobody likes stitching on black. So we didn't include black. We included a sort of buff. And then you stitch black on the buff. She said, that's much easier. It's a little bit more stitching, but it's so much easier. And I thought that was very well thought out. And those are the colours. Again, it's ready, ready threaded and knotted on. It's not going to fall off, so... Um, can you see? Yeah. I am all fingers and thumbs today. There we are. There's the colours against the fabric. And I think that's really very clever to give it this buff coloured Ada and then you stitch the black. That'll be beautiful when I get round to it. <laughs> and I have another little one here. Um, penguin Christmas. I um, my, my husband likes penguins so I thought I'd do that. And this one, as you can see, ready threaded and it has red Ada. So that's it for today. I'm going to stitch some more on my piece rose for my mum. Do a little bit more Sleeping Princess for my daughter. My St George, which is my Leap Day um, project, that's going to go on the back burner because I really want to get the rose done for my mum. And if need be, then I won't stitch on St George this year. And then I've only got two years and I'll have to squeeze it all in then. If you've watched this far, thank you for watching this far. <laughs> um, enjoy stitching, enjoy crafting, take care of each other. Please stay safe. And uh, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.